G'day guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to take the Holy Stone HS175D for its first flight test. I've got my iPhone here and we've also got a 32 gigabyte SD card. So I'm going to set it up guys, we'll put it up in the air and see how it performs. Alright guys, so first off what we want to do is turn on the drone, hold it down for a couple of seconds. Get that musical chime, press the on and off switch up and down to bind we've got a solid light there all right and we've got red lights on the back of the drone all right next i'm going to uh get a screen recording going i'll do the calibration and then we'll put it up in the air okay so we've got the screen recording going there's a little gear icon here you can choose what language you want record on and i've got the units in meters you can change it to feet if you want to okay now we're going to click on prepare tells you here put it, the aircraft in a horizontal position where it, which it is press calibrate okay it's saying the drone is not connected let's try that again it is connected via the Wi-Fi we should have FPV as you can see there all right let's uh, raise that camera up I have to press calibration. Okay, and then this way. So you have to press the calibration tab. And there we have it, guys. We're ready to go. Okay, we're in GPS mode. We'll click yes. And as you can see, we've got solid lights now. All right. All right, guys, let's put it up in the air. I'm gonna start recording. Okay, we can see we're recording on the screen and let's put it up. Two sticks down and out should start the motors or in. I'm gonna press the auto takeoff. Just let it get its bearings there. All right, there's a little bit of wind this morning. Seems pretty good. We can tilt the camera down and back up. All right, so let's take it for a bit of a flight. Start the recording again. Looks like the recording turned itself off. Got a counter going now. All right. I have a 32 gigabyte SD card in there. So this camera is not, uh, does ha have no stabilization. And there's a bit of a dropout with the Wi-Fi, just a little bit. Just pan around. Okay, so first off, let's just do a, just do a quick return to home test. Okay. And it's returning home. There it is there. And we'll see. Just tilt the camera down, we'll see where it lands. I just took off here. On the corner of this uh, painted soccer field line here and that's a pretty accurate landing guys not too bad I just took off from here that's uh, that's great all right so put the camera back up stop that recording put it up again two sticks down and in
Okay. Do a bit of a distance run, see uh, how far we can go. Let's uh, see the settings. I don't know what that is. This is in Chinese. Max altitude 70 and 250. So what I want to do, I'll go up to about, can I go any higher than that? I'll go to 100. Oops. I'll go to 80. That'll do. And it says up to 500. Okay. Go back. Click save. All right. Successfully set. So let's go into the next field. We'll see how the Wi-Fi FPV is. Take it up higher than these uh, light poles. We're at 95, 100 meters. Pretty decent footage by the look of it. I'm making it rock like that, guys. Just uh, tilting to the left. So we're into the next field. 235 meters. We've still got FPV. 264. I'm just letting it settle. So we're nearly into the third field. You can see in front of me there's another field. 283. Not too bad. I'm going to turn it around. Lost Wi Fi there. So let's bring it back. Once again. So we've got Wi Fi to the 300 meters, which is exactly what they said uh, on the listing. 960, what was it? 990. Four feet. So that seems to be uh, pretty accurate. A little bit of a range test there, guys, on the FPV. And uh, just bring it down now. I actually should have recorded that. <laughs> what I might do, might do that again. Get out of, uh, cancel the return to home and we'll push it out again. Maybe over this way a bit this time. Oh, it's saying low battery. Already? Really? Gonna push it out. The video looks quite good. The FPV, pretty decent. Just gonna continue to push it out a bit, guys. 261 that time, but right, 272. Okay, let's bring it home again. So I did record that one this time. Saying 225. All right, 100 now and she's coming back. So yeah, that uh, low battery warning, I mean, it's showing that we've got half a battery. It's a bit surprising. Okay, I'm gonna get out of that once again. 
Okay, cancel go home. And what I want to do is quickly try to do some of these smart features. So let's try the circle mode. 10% battery now. No, that can't be right. Okay, let's send it. All right, let's, uh, it's going backwards a bit there, as you can see. Now I'm gonna tilt the camera down. Looks like the app is frozen. You can see it's doing a circle mode. It's doing it rather smoothly too. Okay, let's get out of that. Let's get out of the app and then back into it. And refresh that image. So as you can see, I've had it facing down. Start a recording again. All right. Let's see if we can do a follow me. The battery level on the telemetry here is showing uh, that we've got sufficient battery. It might be actually a prompt for the iPhone going flat actually, sorry guys. That's what I think it might be. Yeah, I got 10% on the, oops, I got 10% on the iPhone, that's what it is. All right, I'm thinking that <laughs> low power on the drone, all right. So let's try. Follow me. See if that works. Oh, doesn't seem to be working. It's just sitting there, isn't it? Try it one more time. I'll make sure it's higher than the buildings. Okay, it seemed to sort of engage, but... Oh, now it is. So I'll bring that down. Yeah, and it is following. So you have to be a certain height for it to work. All right, so I'm actually 13 meters high. I guess if you're too low, it's just not gonna work, which is a pretty good feature actually, because you don't want to be too low, especially if you're walking on a trail or something like that. So it's, uh, it's working pretty decent. Okay, so my phone's getting pretty low on power. So I'm going to just screen record as much as I can. All right, so yeah, that's working pretty good. All right, so I'll get out of that and we'll take a few photos, I guess. Can actually bring up the camera with the slider there, which I just done on the app, so that's pretty good. It's actually quicker than using the the button so that's uh that's great all right let's take some photos it's a pity it's a bit of an overcast day today we didn't have much of a sunny weekend let's take some photos it's indicated with a quick flash of the screen But on the uh, iPhone here, the 
the picture quality looks quite good. Much like uh, some of the other Holy Stone models. Take a little bit higher. Except this one, it's a shame that it doesn't have uh, image stabilization. It's the only drawback that I can really say about the camera on this one because you can see every movement of the drone. But other than that, it would be good for taking a bit of video. And uh, especially if you're new to the hobby, you just want a relatively cheap drone to uh, experience drone flying. Now you can take video with this. Just be easy on the sticks. Lift the camera up a bit. Okay. Let's take some more video. So if you're easy on the sticks and just fly around with subtle movements on the actual joysticks on the transmitter, you will get pretty decent footage. Just don't do any sudden movements. I'll slowly bring the drone down. A bit of shakiness there. That's due to the wind. Try to get some more recording. So if you can just be easy on the sticks, you'll get some decent enough video with a bit of editing skills. You can just put the best bits together. <laughs> But yeah, this drone flies great, guys. It's just, uh, I'm not going to look at the iPhone for a second here, but uh, pretty decent. And that was in second rate. Now we're in first rate. The nice agile flyer. Back in a rate two. Yeah, not bad guys, not bad. So um yeah the FPV range i mean i think i got up to 280 six at one point so that's not far off the 300 meters that they're stating so let's just let it sit there Now I can see we've got some flashing lights and the battery indicator on the telemetry is showing that it is probably around 25%. Pretty stable little drone, especially for its light weight. Pretty cool. Do a bit of a punch test. Yeah, okay, so she's going back home now. Back to where I started. So there's the low battery. As you can see, it's saying going home. So that's going to be the flight time of the Holy Stone HS 175D. Now, I did notice there's something glitchy with this app is that when I'm recording, it likes to turn itself off. As you can see here, the button that was recording just here on the screen, I've had to start recording again. So that happened a couple of times during this video. I'm not too sure why, 
but it tends to stop the recording sometimes all right so there we have it guys that is a flight time and first flight of the holystone hs 175d overall not a bad drone um you know the camera quality seems pretty good the actual picture quality it's just a little bit of a shame that it doesn't have electronic image stabilization when a lot of drones these days especially if they've got uh a sort of just a one axis uh tilt quite a few drones out there do actually include that so if holy stone uh, maybe on an updated model of this can uh either put a gimbal on this particular model which would be even better but if they could upgrade this camera with electronic image stabilization or eis it will take even better stabilized footage for a better quality video so anyway guys thanks very much for watching uh, that's the first flight test on the hs 175d if you happen to be interested in this one i'll include links in the description below uh, if you haven't seen my unboxing you can check that out i'll have that link somewhere in this video maybe on the end card as well and uh yeah that's my first test guys as you can see i had an sd card in there i'll grab the footage of that and put it in this video as well as the screen recording and i'll catch you on the next one guys so if you're new to the channel feel free to subscribe like comment all that good stuff always great to hear from you and i'll catch you on the next video till next time enjoy the hobby and happy flying bye for now